Hi, I'm Elsa Sanchez, a professor in plant science at Penn State, and in this episode of Year-Round Gardening, we'll talk about harvesting and preserving herbs. We'll go over how the method used for harvesting herbs is dependent on which plant part you want to use. We'll also look at ways to store your herbs. The best tools to harvest herbs are hand pruners, a sharp knife, or scissors. Your hands will also work well for pinching off leaves, seeds, or fruits. When harvesting leaves, choose leaves that are free of disease and insect damage or other blemishes. The best time to harvest for maximum quality is just after the dew has evaporated from the plant in the morning. For peak flavor, harvest any time before flowering. Herbs develop off flavors after flowering. If harvesting the entire plant, wait until just before the flower buds open. If the plant is an annual, cut it off at the soil line. If it is a perennial, cut off no more than one third of the stems. Herbs intended for refrigerating, freezing, or drying should be preserved as soon as possible for the best flavor and color. When storing, remember to label the container with the name of the herb and the date harvested. Place herbs loosely in a plastic bag and place the bag in the refrigerator. The herbs will remain fresh for a while, about 10 to 14 days. Another method is to place whole plants or sprigs in a jar or a cup with about an inch of water and place them in the refrigerator. You can also cover the jar with a plastic bag. Changing the water daily can lengthen the post-harvest life of your herbs. They can last up to two weeks using this method. Rinse your herbs before using them. Basil should not be stored in the refrigerator. Instead, place it in a cup of water on your counter, like you would handle cut flowers. Rinse and pat dry herbs that you wish to freeze. After rinsing, you can freeze sprigs, whole leaves, or leaves cut or torn into smaller sections. Simply place your herbs in freezer containers or bags and put them in a freezer. Alternatively, herbs can be placed in a single layer on a cookie sheet and then frozen. Once the herbs are frozen, they can be placed in freezer containers or bags. This method prevents the herbs from freezing in clumps, and it may be easier to remove individual quantities for cooking. You can blanch herbs before freezing. Blanching will sacrifice flavor, but retain better color. If you opt to blanch, place the herbs in a colander and pour boiling water over them for about one second. Basil is one herb that will benefit from blanching. It will blacken if not blanched prior to freezing. Once frozen, herbs can last for six months to a year. Generally, herbs will retain their flavor, though some will change slightly. Frozen herbs can be used in cooking without defrosting. When using frozen herbs in uncooked foods, they should be thawed and excess water may need to be drained prior to adding to the foods. In this case, the texture may be softer than when freshly harvested. Dried herbs can last up to a year when stored in a cool, dry location. Be sure the herb is completely dried prior to storing. Otherwise, they can mold and deteriorate quickly. When drying, the flavor of strong flavored herbs such as rosemary and sage will affect the flavor of other herbs. So dry strong flavored herbs separate from other herbs. Oven drying is a quick method to remove water from herbs, but keep in mind, during the drying process, essential oils are lost and therefore some flavor is lost. If using this method, position herbs in a single layer on a cookie sheet, then place them in an oven set at its lowest temperature. The oven door should be left slightly ajar for air circulation. Turn the herbs over periodically to promote uniform drying. You'll know they are sufficiently dried when they are crisp and break easily. Avoid over drying and cool prior to storage. Microwaving also removes water from herbs quickly. Place the herbs in a single layer between paper towels and microwave for up to four minutes, turning them over and checking for doneness every 30 seconds. The paper towels need to be replaced once they are too moist. The herbs are sufficiently dry when they are crisp and break easily. 
Again, avoid over drying and cool prior to storage. Air drying is another method to preserve herbs. One method of air drying entails tying a string to the base of a bundle of whole plants, sprigs, or seed heads. Make sure the bundle is small enough for adequate air circulation and uniform drying. Then hang the bundle upside down in a warm, well-ventilated, dry, and dark place. It's important for the space to be dark because sunlight breaks down the essential oils and herbs. A paper bag can be placed over the herbs to keep them out of the light, to catch pieces that may fall, and to keep them free from dust. Videos like this are made possible by support from viewers like you. If you enjoyed this video, visit WPSU.org to become a member today and help us create more content like this.